150 microseconds, the gate in is at, what did I say, one, mic one a light. millisecond? Do you need a light there, Ron? Uh, maybe eventually. I'm I just was having trouble reading. Four volts at this point. Oh, so you got it hooked up? Mm hmm. I just okay. killed it. But okay, was, hook, it, hook it back up. What I yeah, want to do is. I was getting 3.86 volts there under load. Yeah, well, you're, you're getting pulsing DC, so you ignore your voltmeter. Oh, let me run AC and see what it looks like. Sure. Nothing. But I need, uh, I need this. Because there's no, there's no uh, other side of the sine wave, so you're not going to get AC. But that's cool, man. Okay, here we go. Here is the, uh, here's across the fuel cell. Here's across the fuel cell, and you'll see that we're actually. Let me get this off. But of the output, you know, the yield is nowhere near what I was doing with DC. Why does it disappear when I do that? Let me see the amplitude. Oh, that's a lot of amplitude. But you guys can see it's inverted, eh? You know, that's what an amplifier does. Okay, so. Max out your gate, so you. Uh, yeah, let me just get the. Uh, you're getting lots of current. Why did I lose it? Because right now there's like I don't know about a fifth coming off of there. What was before? Yeah. She went on the wrong side. It's too bad I got all the tape in the way. Hey. Yeah, there we, there we go. There we go. That's what was going on. Now we've got a good strong pulse. There. Now you can see the coil. So, what we got, what you're looking at here, guys, is this is what's going into the circuit, into the switching transistor to trigger it, and this is actually at the fuel cell. So let me, uh, first of all, get the square wave nice and happy. So as high frequency as we can. Yeah, you see the problem? Look, look, look what happens here. Does that look like a square wave to you anymore? You've got to kind of go like this to get it looking like a square wave. Notice we're starting to get some ringing as well. Mm -hmm. what, what is the significance of that, Ron? <coughs> um, mismatch of frequencies. And the um, resonance versus slowly the solution, pushing the air out. The solution bottle is getting a little bit um, opaque. Okay. Now, see, when I now we're producing one, two.